Hello again, Photo Mechanic users. This is John from Camera Bits, and this is another tutorial on using Photo Mechanic software. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Photo Mechanic to apply captions to images automatically. We'll be using the stationary pad in Photo Mechanic, along with the powerful code replacement and variable features. These are two important concepts to learn when speeding up captioning in Photo Mechanic. Once you learn them, they can save you a huge amount of time. The first concept is code replacement. When using code replacement, you set up a text file in advance that has things you'd rather not have to type over and over. Things like long, hard to spell names, or things that might change. Here's a basic example using sports. Say you have photos of a soccer game, and you can get the roster in advance. Create a code replacement file that looks something like this. With the numbers of the players linked with their names, separated with a tab. Your code replacement file can get complex with many different options, but this is just a very basic example. We save this file somewhere where we can remember it. I like to make a folder for code replacement files, but you can keep this wherever you prefer. Now, back in Photo Mechanic, we'll use Command Control C to tell it what code file to use. You can specify multiple code replacement lists. So, you could keep one that you always use for common things, and then add on one-time files for special projects. Note the delimiter character here. This will be very important when it comes to applying the code replacements themselves. So now we have our contact sheet, and we need to add captions fast. We'll open the info pane, and we'll add in a caption. We can see we have players 20 and 22 here. No need to look up who that is, we can include the code replacements enclosed in the special delimiter characters I just mentioned. And we see the names fill in automatically. We'll want to mention the date too, but we don't need to look up when the game was, we can just use variables. You can look up the complete list of variables in our manual, but for the date we can add this string here. Variables are a great way to save time. You can save a stationary pad with variables like these, and it will always be current. For more information on the stationary pad, check out our other tutorials. When we apply the stationary pad to these photos and take a look at the IPTC info by pressing the I key, voila! The date is right there. Once you master these, you can create different stationary pads for different situations and save them with the controls at the bottom. So now we have our photos captioned, and we need to select a few to send off to a client or editor. Let's say we only want pictures from a certain day. On Apple computers running OS X, we can use the search capability to do this. Option Command F will open the search dialog. We can choose from the drop down for capture time, and then set exactly. Pick the day you want to find, and there will be the images you need. So we found the images. You might have done some additional processing in an external editor, something we covered in another video. Let's send them off to an FTP site. Maybe it's an editor or a retoucher or your own off-site backups or hosting site. We're just demonstrating another capability of Photo Mechanic. Call the uploader dialog with Command U or Control U on a PC. This is where you can send your files to a wide variety of destinations. You can see Photo Shelter, Flickr, or SmugMug as examples. If you have accounts there, you can configure Photo Mechanic for them. For this demo, we'll just use FTP. We've already configured a site here in the connections list. We've put in a host, username, and password for our destination FTP site. In this dialog, we can choose to send copies of original files or smaller JPEGs. You can also choose to save the uploaded JPEGs to a folder on your computer. This is a big time saver in Photo Mechanic. You're exporting JPEGs to a specific size and uploading them all in the same step. Once you've got all your options, click Send. Here's where you'll see the status of your uploads. And there you have it. We used variables and code replacements to handle big jobs quickly. 
Then we searched for a smaller set of our photos and uploaded them to somewhere on the internet. We've just scratched the surface of variables and code replacements here. You can use these tools in countless ways in Photo Mechanic to save time and keep your photos organized. We hope you found this information useful. Stay tuned for more tutorials about getting started with Photo Mechanic. If you have any trouble, please stop by our support forums or contact us through the support link on our website. Have a great day, and happy photographing!